Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. First run back from Dopey. Crazy. <laughs> the vacation done went by quick. I took a total of 11 days off after Dopey. My body just really needed a rest. Um, after that, so I just took the time off and just have been relaxing. Um, got my new shocks. Never tried shocks before, but I don't think I talked about it in Dopey. There was a kind of a disaster a little bit because I definitely wanted to roll with music um, during the marathon but during the half my headphones like died uh, they had a full charge they just stopped working just because they had them for so long the half it wasn't a big deal but I'm glad it happened on the half and not the full uh, so I wasn't without music so we went back to the expo bought some shocks I've always I didn't want to spend the money because <laughs> these were you know 100, 120 dollars but I've always been curious about shocks and they're great um, basically what they do is they wrap around your, your ear but they don't go in your ear so you can still hear the surround sound. Surround, surround sound of life. <laughs> um, so you can still uh, like keep your surroundings and stuff like that. So you don't, so you don't, I don't know, get hit by a car or whatever. So as you can tell right there. Yeah, so today we got, what we got? Uh, three miles, three miles, yeah. I had to think about it. <laughs> three miles on deck, nothing crazy, easy. Easy pace, just uh, relaxing and getting back to the uh, the grind of things. So, got the new shoes on, and I feel really good today. So, and before I get going, I'll take you guys through all my shoes because there's a lot. <laughs> so, I'll be talk to you guys a little bit about. I'm actually going to be going down in distance. I'm not going to be training for a marathon right now. I'm going to be training for the Boston 5K. I know, how do you go from marathon to 5K? But I just feel it's a good change. After Chicago, um, I went right back into marathon training. I consider ultra, I consider Dopey more of an ultra marathon training because I was just running so many more miles than Chicago. Um, so yeah, I decided while I'm still young, I still got very fast twitch muscles, speed in my legs, and I feel like I can crush a 5K, especially going to Boston. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be training for. So the next, I'm gonna be filming a lot on here about my training, going from marathon to 5K, that's that's a huge jump. Um, so a lot more lifting content, strength training, a lot more speed workouts, um, faster speed sessions, like 200s, 400s on the track, things like that. So, so if that interests you at all, please hit the subscribe button. But anyway, let's. Uh, I'm gonna take you through the shoes and then get to running. So first up, we got my Nike Pegasus 37 Shield. It's just gonna be an everyday trainer. Uh, easy run to moderate effort. And what makes this awesome with the Shield capabilities is it's just a warmer upfront, protects against the rain, rain repellent, water repellent. Uh, just an overall really good shoe because my feet typically get pretty cold when the temperature begins to drop. So this is just a great run for this kind of weather. And it's a perfect easy slash water run shoe. I've been repping this shoe for as long as I can remember. All right, next up, we got one of my all-time favorite shoes, the Zoom Fly 4s. I know the 5s uh, came out recently, but I'm selling the 4s just because I have a backlog of them because I typically get my shoes very cheap. I got sources, <laughs> and I kind of uh, overstocked them until I ran out. So Zoom Fly 4s, perfect for anything you want to do. Easy run, water run, tempo effort. Anything you want to do, these are for it. Typically me, I like to do them for tempo effort and longer style track workouts like the mile uh, mile repeats things like that that's where i feel like these shoes really shine next up we have a new shoe to the rotation uh one that i've never worn before this is the zoom x street fly so this is more for your 5k 10k distance this is a race day shoe so this is taking that zoom x phone that we're all accustomed to from the favorite fly and the apple fly and putting it in a more light shoe for those distances like the alpha flies these are still my versions that have over 100 miles in them. Uh, I have a new pair, but I'm not ready to give up on these just guys just yet. What can I say about these? I run all my half marathon marathons in them and all my long runs in them. I love these so much. I love them better than the uh, favorite flies. A lot of people like it, favorite flies versus these, but I'm an alpha fly guy. Just so much cushion, so much balance. You just feel like you're flying in these and I can't say enough good things about these shoes. They're just, in my opinion, the perfect race day shoe for half marathon and marathon distances.
three miles in the bag. It's like 715 pace. Heart was heart rate was pretty low just the last mile. <laughs> so I go up a little bit because that's not my easy pace. That's faster than my easy pace. Um I felt good, which is great. Um because I was looking at my schedule. Uh I gotta show you guys that eventually. So I don't a lot of people ask like Yo, do you use Strava? Like, what do you do? Your Garmin? Like, how do you keep track of all your stuff? Well, I'm very old school. <laughs> I keep notebooks. Um, I never, I've never used Strava. I never used any of the, the Garmin or anything like that. Like, I use the Garmin data to write down, like, my heart rates and stuff like that. But very old school. I have, like, all my notebooks. I just get notebooks. And I have notebooks since I was in gosh I think freshman year of high school that's when I started that and I have like pretty much every day of every year like logged uh which is awesome so I was looking back at my past couple years how did I feel on the first day back and I felt awful uh like I think three years in a row like every training cycle the first run back I felt awful so today was huge confidence boost so that just shows how hard and how awesome the last training cycle was because I felt great. I felt like I could have kept going and even picked it up even more. Um, but first day back, you gotta relax. Long, long training block, first day, relax. So. so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Very, very short one today, just kind of an update of after Dopey, what's been going on. It's kind of, kind of slow season for me right now. Uh, just getting back into running as well as uh, business itself because January is the slowest month of the entire year. And it's kind of the year where I'm just focusing on designing getting products ready for the spring line, obviously coming up in March, as well as kind of summer. Uh, for the summer products, you kind of kind of have to have them ready during the spring launch. So right now for after the new year, like this whole month has just been designing and getting things ready for everything to come because there's a lot. Uh, so yeah, I needed that much needed break from running and everything, but now I'm back on the grind and ready to start really 5k training. I'm Looking forward to it. Looking forward to doing some fast stuff on track and taking you guys along. Taking my, my body from a marathon body to a 5K body. So looking forward to that. So make sure to stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button if you want to check that out. And I'll see you guys on the next one.